Gentlemen, awesome to be back with you on MGTOW Money. Today's topic, how he lost 99% on his investment yesterday. And no, gentlemen, I'm not talking about cryptos. We're going to get to that in just a second. Let me, of course, as always, sincerely thank the ongoing investment support from the Patreon investors in this channel. Gentlemen, if you haven't noticed, for example, they chose to, at YouTube, demonetize yesterday's video because I guess I said too many radical or alt-right things. But anyway, also for my book readers out there, let me not so coincidentally recommend an outstanding book to you. It is called The The Extraordinary Popular Delusion and Madness of Crowds. It talks about investment bubbles in the past. You might find it very, very interesting. Link in the video description to become a patron and investor as well as a link to the book. All right, gentlemen, it goes without saying yesterday was an, was an historic day in the investment markets worldwide. Of course, the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped over 1,000 points. That is a record and just not in terms of percentage, but in in terms of the number of points as well as world markets drop considerably, etc. Let me also throw in something. Right off the bat, gentlemen, I have no idea what's going to happen in the future. I'm not making any investment recommendations. I'm just throwing out some ideas here. Besides, of course, world stock markets being rocked so heavily yesterday, of course, Bitcoin is considered its considerable decline. It's It was down approximately 70% off its all-time high, below $6,000 per Bitcoin. But there was another investment, gentlemen, that actually lost basically 100% of its value. Right now, it's difficult to even say. We're just going to round off and say 99%. Specifically, I'm talking about a leveraged exchange traded note that was reflecting the VIX. Now, I'm not going to get into all the particulars and all the mechanics and all that type of thing. It's frankly irrelevant what the particular product is. But I can tell you two things. Number one, people lost 99% of their money yesterday that were invested in this particular investment product. 99%, gentlemen, they had $100 when the market opened at 9.30 yesterday morning and when the market closed yesterday at 4 o'clock Eastern U.S. time, guess what? They were down to a dollar and a dollar is what we think it might be worth. It might be actually zero. Gentlemen, this is what you need to learn from this. If you're holding one particular security, what I mean is one particular stock, one particular single cryptocurrency, one particular, let's just say leveraged exchange traded fund, exchange traded note. If you're holding a lot of money, and I know some of you probably are, are really confident concentrating in one particular asset or even asset classes, you are making a serious error. And I'm going to get into that in just a second. But this is, I I can't emphasize enough. I've done videos about this. You've got to diversify. I know some of you have, again, this religious conviction, whether it be about some crypto, whether it be about particular stocks, etc. Gentlemen, let me just remind you of my past, and this isn't that far. This is an ancient history, gentlemen. Some companies that were tremendous companies in the past that employed tens of thousands of people. For example, Nortel Networks, Lucent Technologies, WorldCom. I, I do, do, How many of you remember Pets.com? which even was running Super Bowl ads in the early 2000s. You know where all these companies are, gentlemen? They're gone. They're history. Their stock value is zero. So remember, there were millions of people that were, quote, buy and holders of these companies, and th- the value of their investment is zero. Again, this is not ancient history, gentlemen. This happened within our lifetime. This can happen to you. So this is what I highly recommend that you do today, gentlemen. List all your investments. Every single one of your investments, whether they be stocks, bonds, precious metals, cryptocurrencies, real estate, collectibles, whatever. List them all, gentlemen, because ideally, ideally, in the ideal world, you want to spread your risk around between those six different investment classes, meaning you do not, I emphasize, do not want to have more than 50%, 50 50% of your overall money into one of those particular investment classes. In other words, if I have $10,000 total to invest. I don't want to put all $10,000 or even $5,000 into one of those particular six classes. I want to spread it around. I can't emphasize that enough. Two, gentlemen, some of you are going to need to face the music. And I've had to do this, unfortunately, many times in the past. Again, I've done videos on this in the past where I lost, for example, over $5,000. Specifically, what I'm talking about is face your 
losses. Sometimes you're wrong, gentlemen. Sometimes things just don't work out. Sometimes, frankly, things don't come back, as I was mentioning from stocks in the past. You need to reframe the situation, gentlemen, if you're sitting on losses sometime. One, what can you learn from this situation? What can you do better in the future? Two, at least for Americans, I cannot speak to all the other jurisdictions around the world, but for Americans, if your investment is in a taxable account, in other words, a non-retirement account, you can write off up to $3,000 per year against your taxes. In other words, that can be a loss that you can write off per year and you can carry on the losses as again I've had to do in the past years forward. In other words, if you lose $9,000 this particular year, you have three years of losses carried forward that you can use. I'll let you deal with your tax accountant or other tax professional on this, but you need to again face up sometimes to your losses. Three, gentlemen, for future investments, let me just make you aware, guess what? There are going to be some fantastic markets. There's going to be another bull market and something else, hopefully to be precious metals be frank with you, but who knows? Inevitably, there's going to be another bull market and something else in the next year, two, three years down the road. I can promise you that. You're not going to miss out. Before, though, investing another euro, dollar, etc. in any market, gentlemen, in the future, you need to put this right at the forefront of your mind. What is the downside? What is the absolute worst case scenario. Gentlemen, in many times, many markets, I hate to tell you this, you can lose most, if not all of your money. Certainly, I plan on, unfortunately, when I've made many investments, I am frightened. My hands are shaking. However, what I also try to do now and what I've learned from my prior experience is that I don't put a high percentage of my portfolio in the, in the any one particular investment. All right, let's quickly summarize here, gentlemen. Stop telling yourself you know the future. Stop watching videos that make you feel good about your investments that are giving you confirmation bias. For example, I spent about a couple of hours this morning watching videos, some crypto videos, some stock market videos, etc. It's amazing how many of these guys are just throwing out lots and lots of confirmation bias and don't worry and everything's going to be fine, etc. You know what? Maybe they're right. Maybe everything's going to be fine. Maybe everything's going to be fantastic. But I don't know. They don't know. You don't know. No one can predict the future with certainty. I can't emphasize that enough. No one can predict the future with certainty. You need to start with, number one, a blank slate of all your investments and make sure that you're not heavily, a la more than 50%, into one particular investment class. One of those six investment classes that I mentioned. Two, gentlemen, I know this is really difficult. This is extraordinarily difficult for any human being, but you might have to accept some losses. You might have to just buck up and accept I might have been wrong and deal with the consequences. It's okay. I've dealt with it. Misery loves company, gentlemen. Lastly, always, always, always in the future, know your downside. The money that you're putting in, if you're putting in $1,000, gentlemen, be prepared. That $1,000 may never come back to you. Be prepared. Just like you're walking into a casino, you may not get your money back. If you want something that's riskless, then basically you're going to need to leave it in the bank or buy government treasury bills or something like that. You must be prepared to be wrong, gentlemen, and you must accept the potential loss of all your money. All right, gentlemen, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you found that useful. As always, John Galt, out.